Hey guys, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and Brooklyn's here with me today and we are going to show you this cool hairstyle called the Rope Twisted Pinwheel Bun. Now many of you guys may have noticed that buns are crazy huge this year and they're everywhere and everyone loves buns, dancers, gymnasts, going to the gym, moms, whatever. And so we've been coming up with lots of buns lately and we have seen this pinwheel bun floating around but we wanted to mix it up and make it our own so we decided to rope twist the pinwheel bun and see what it came out like and it was amazing. So now we're going to show you guys so you can do it yourself. So to begin with, I've gone ahead and put Brooklyn's hair into a high ponytail and you're going to need a bun maker like this, a donut one. You can get these at any of, you know, your usual hair supply set stores. You're going to put this on just like you normally would, pull all the hair through and let it flip. And the nice bonus to this hairstyle is it looks even better if you do it wet. So no need to over dry your hair or use a blow dryer or anything like that. Just jump out of the shower and whip this hair together and you're good to go. I'm going to comb this down so it's all nice and even and we get a really pretty bun. Okay, now I'm going to spin her and I'm just going to start right here on the side. Make a little segment, like a little separation between the two spots. You're going to pick up a piece of hair and you're going to begin. Now on a pinwheel bun you would just twist this singular strand and wrap it under. So I wanted to mix it up, so I'm going to take a little bit more hair and I'm going to separate it into two pieces and I'm going to twist them both the same direction. You don't have to twist down very far and then I'm going to rope twist them together going the opposite direction. So it's just like a little mini rope twist what we're doing right here. And really you only need about three, maybe four inches. So don't worry about going all the way down the strand every time. Then you're going to reach your fingers, this, just right into the center of that, see how my fingers are poking out? Grab that piece of hair in between them and pull it back up and you've created your first little twisty. Now you're going to add more hair in and the best thing to do is kind of re-separate the hair because you don't want all the short pieces on one side and all the long on the other. So re-separate them. Again, twist both to the right for me because I'm right handed and then twist them to the left over each other. Again, you're only going to go down three or four inches until you have that nice twisted effect. Put your fingers in, grab it, pull it through, and you're good to go. And you're going to continue to do this over and over. Now, what's going to happen, she does have layers in her hair, so you might see some of her ends coming out, and you can tell that where I've done this side, it's different length. That's why it's important to re-separate it so that it pulls some of the longer pieces in each strand. So again, one more. Twist it together and then twist it over each other the opposite direction. And reach under, grab it with your fingers, pull it through, and go to the next section. We play it like all the rules, it's our life We go on every night So on this last one, it's going to be a little tight. And then what you're going to have is this end piece right here. Now you can um, go ahead and keep wrapping it under and under and under, but I'm just going to twist it. So it looks like it's still twisty. Don't worry about the little endies, you can get those later. And then I'm just going to take it and tuck it right under and bobby pin it. So we can just go right up in here 
and bobby pin it and bobby pin those ends down one more time like that so once you've got the ends secured under then you can go back and adjust any like little placement as needed you know like if you don't have quite as thick a hair as this then you'll want to just maneuver the twists around so that you hide the bun maker and that's why it's really important that you get a bun maker that's the same color as your hair so they just all kind of blend in and they're not as noticeable if you can't see something but there you have it using a little bit of spray wax or hairspray you can just you know fix up any little flyaways we created in the process and you are finished I think this hairdo is just so cool for like a mix-up of a ballerina bun or a gym bun or a homecoming or prom dance, anything like that, a mom's great work do. Really, it's so pretty and sophisticated looking. Here's the finished product. Love that. And it's gorgeous. It just, it looks like it's like all basket weave together or something crazy when it's really not, which... I think you could probably even sleep on it if it was comfortable and get away with wearing it a second day just because it's so in there tight. It's so tight. Anyway, well, if you guys have been following my Mom Minute episodes, there's another one. You can click on it here over on the Mom's View channel to check it out. And we thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye, guys. Bye. inevitably if you're gonna buy your child all the clothing and toys that they want and ask for their entire lives you're gonna end up with spoiled kids so I guess my so to begin with I've gone ahead and put